Without further ado, let's jump into the real estate numbers. We've got some interesting statistics for you in terms of number of sales over the last 10 years. Uh, the number of sales in 2021 is really incredibly high compared to 10 years ago. We're going to look at November of 2021 versus November 2021. And then we'll look at year to date through the end of November compared to year to date through the end of November 2020. 7,300 single family detached closings for the month, which is a decrease of 1%. So let's just call it flat, about the same number of homes sold this year as, la as last year, even though inventory continues to decrease later in the year. 1,500 single family attached condos and townhomes sold for the month, which is an increase of 2% over November 2020. We can call that fairly flat as well. Average sales price for a residential single-family detached unit, $415,800, which is 16.7%. You heard that right, 16.7% over November of 2020. Average sales price for condos and townhomes, $345,000, which is an 18.2% increase over the $291,000 average sales price November of 2020. 86600 Single-family detached units sold year-to-date, which is an increase of 3%. So we're ahead in that category. 18,500 condos and townhomes sold year-to-date, which is an increase, listen to this, Atlanta, of 20%. There's 20% more condos and townhomes sold in Metro Atlanta year-to-date in 2021 compared to year-to-date in 2020. As I was putting together numbers for the show, or as I should say, as I was adding to the numbers that Ann Daniels, my trusty research assistant and program manager, if you will, who helps me with the agendas and the outlines for these shows, I was wondering, okay, how many units will we have sold in Metro Atlanta in 2021? And that number will be about 114 to 115,000 units. I wanted to look back and see what was the worst year in terms of sales, unit sales in Metro Atlanta all the way back to prior to the recession, and the answer is 2010. In 2010, Atlanta, there was 51,128 closings, which means the almost 115,000 we will close in Metro Atlanta in 2021 is a 124% increase. So there's lots more sellers and buyers actively in the Atlanta market today than there was before. Average sales price of a single-family detached unit in the month of November, 401486 which is an increase of 20% year-to-date. Now, a 20% increase year-to-date, a 16.7% increase November versus November, which means the rate of increase is decreasing. It means there's not quite as much inventory pressure in the single-family detached units as the single-family attached units. Listen to this. Single-family attached units, that's the condos and the townhomes, 323500 average sales price, which is an increase of 13% over the prior year to date. 13% increase year to date for condos and townhomes, 18.2% increase November over November, which means the rate of increase is increasing. 8355 Single-family detached homes available for sale at the end of November, which is a decrease of 5% over the prior year, so fairly close. 1,720 condos and townhomes available for sale at the end of November compared to, listen to this, 3,350 available for sale at the end of November last year, which is a decrease in single-family attached condos and townhomes inventory of 49%.